Here we have 3.3 solving a system of linear equations with fractional uh, coefficients. So it says solve a system of equations and it gives me the two things. Now I know how to eliminate fractions from the knowledge that we had previously on solving equations. So essentially all I'm going to do is turn this problem into an equivalent system. So here I would multiply every single one of these terms by the LCD, which happens to be five for the top equation. And for the bottom, I would multiply by the LCD, which happens to be six for the bottom. And so what happens is, is that the top equation becomes 15x and five times one fifth is negative one y, right, because of the minus, equal to five times three fifths, and I get positive three. Then the bottom one becomes six times one half. I could do this in my head, but if you need to, I'm just showing you can do it in the calculator. 3x and then 6 times 1 third keep the minus sign I get 2y and then 6 times negative 8 is just going to be negative 48 then now I would try to make them match with the opposite signs right so again I like to manipulate the top one if I can so that I could put it right underneath and then keep going Otherwise, I would have to rewrite the top one over here and then the new bottom one underneath it, okay? You don't want to put things in between. It gets a little bit too crowded and confusing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the top one by a negative 2 because a negative 2 times a negative 1 will give me the positive 2 that will cancel out this negative 2. So when I do that, I get negative 30x then I get positive 2y, and then I get negative 6. So when I add these together, I get negative 27x, those wipe out, and then negative 48 minus 6 is negative 54, and if I divide by negative 27 on both sides, I get that x is a positive 2. So then I can plug it back. This is where it gets interesting. You could plug it back into one of the originals. And as long as you did this step correctly, you could also plug it into one of the newer equations. I always like to use the one inside the bracket, okay? Um, but again, you could plug it in here, but assuming that this is correct for the top one and this is correct in the bottom one, you could plug it into one of the new ones. So I'm gonna plug it into what I have there in the bracket. So 15 times two minus one y equals three. So that's 30 minus one y equals three. Negative one y equals negative 27. Divide by negative one, I get y equals positive 27. So what is the coordinates? Two for x, 27 for y. Now you will only get the correct answer if you did this step correctly. If you did not do this step correctly, then this is all wrong, it's all bad, okay? So you have to make sure that you do your new equations perfect.